Well, yesterday, Governor Steve Bullock announced that Montana would begin entering phase two of his reopening plan on June 1st. But dozens of people were on hand at the state capitol today to protest Montana's continued restrictions linked to COVID-19. MTN's Jonathan Amberian has more on the rally. On Wednesday afternoon, people gathered on the sidewalk in front of the Montana State Capitol to express their discontent with continued restrictions on businesses and on gatherings, and to call for the state to be fully reopened. Those who attended the rally say they see the state's rules as arbitrary, favoring some groups over others, and that they were unreasonable restrictions on people's freedom. Drew Coaster of Helena says her family's business was considered essential so it could stay open, but she says the regulations on other businesses have been unjust and the effects fell too hard on working people. Honestly, if the non-essential quote-unquote businesses aren't working, I mean, that's like cutting half off of the economy right there. So we depend on them as well. Coaster says she acknowledges the concerns about the coronavirus, but that a full shutdown wasn't justified. On the principle of it, as a free society, we can't just force people to close down because things are scary. Um, if we are not free when things are bad, then are we really free or are we just play acting at being free? In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. And again, Governor Bullock announced yesterday that Montana would begin entering phase two of the reopening plan on June 1st. Well, the state of Montana is reporting seven new cases of COVID-19, all related to a single outbreak in Ravalli County. According to health officials, Ravalli County now has the highest number of active cases in the state with eight. The Ravalli County Health Department says all the cases in the cluster are related and involve travel. Health workers say they have identified more than 30 other residents who show no symptoms but who are in quarantine. The new cases bring the total number of cases in Montana to 477.